been quite a day for the UAB community as students returned to school and the football team returned to the field. The program was brought back last year after it was shut down, and today they broke ground on a new football operations facility. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle live tonight at UAB, and Stefan, a very spirited first day back for the students, huh? Yeah, Jim, it really was. And as a person who did not attend UAB, I got to tell you, people were just excited to see the team get back on the fo on the football field. Now, ultimately, it was just a great day to be a Blazer. Yes, the band, the cheerleaders, the fans, sounds like a recipe for some college football. Man, today is, it's about passion for UAB. Yep, that's right. Football is back at UAB. Head coach Bill Clark led his Blazers back on the field for their green and gold game. Just last year, this is a place some students and alums weren't so sure the team would be. A year ago, in all honesty, I was just believing in the Ever Faithful, Ever Loyal. Yeah. So I believed in UAB, I believed in the fans, and they said we'll be back, so I believed in with them wholeheartedly. Oh, this is super special. I mean, this is pretty much the only taste of football we get all year, so we've got to make it count. Although this game or any other they play this year won't count, Blazer Nation feels like they have all the right pieces heading into next year. The beautiful thing is when December comes, we're on the same level as everyone else. So we're going to sit back and watch, focus on academics, get bigger, get faster, and be excellent for UAB. A lot of confidence here on campus and in this program. Uh, they have the number one recruiting class in their program's history. They've raised over $40 million since last year. And there's even a little buzz about a stadium being built in 2019. We're live on UAB's campus tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.